Yeah, so I'm going to be talking about the new include fields. If you click customize, you can select the include fields. The include fields allows you to trigger some modify the behavior of your trigger to only be triggered uh, whenever a specific field change. So in this particular example, we got product updated tags. That means whenever a product get updated, if the tags field change, it will get executed. This is very helpful whenever you have a generic work for work, uh, a generic trigger like this one, like the product updated, that like a lot of things could change. This allows you to narrow it down to only trigger when a tags have changed, um, which is a very common use case that a lot of people have requested in the past. So um, one, there are a couple of caveats, a couple of limitations from this. Whenever you use this feature, only the payload that you only the fields that you include here will be sent into your payload. So earlier I did a test, uh, which is completed already. Um, and then if you look at the variables, you only get the tags. And again, this will only get executed when you tag or when a tags field get modified. Um, we, if you're using this feature, we always automatically include the ID to make sure you can retrieve that entity. So for some reason you are here in the product um, and you need to get the product that was updated, you can always um, just do a retrieve on the product and you will get the entire payload. But yeah, I think this is a very nice feature. It will save a lot of money to a lot of people who are only doing things with tags or any other key that they don't necessarily care about the rest of the updates.